Welcome, welcome. Who's the stiff? A good friend, if you will. Well, who's this good friend? We're not acquainted. We're gonna keep it that way, too. It's better you don't know who I am. Alright, that's the way it's gotta be. Today, we will begin a multi-stage, high-level strategy operation. Thanks to my good friend, we set up a blitz play that, if done correctly, will ultimately result in our victory. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about the first phase of the operation. I'll sit and watch. Explain. The first phase of this strategy requires us to secure a flight path from here at Megalith to Meriton in northern Yuzia. We can't take a direct route since the geopolitical situation and the war have caused us to be locked out of the Yuzian mainland. Stealthcraft can get in, but your aircraft will be caught on radar. We've decided the best route to Meriton is from the west. This means going around Arusia, which in turn will have their sea lanes saturated with radar coverage. Your flight route will bring you near Farbanti, and the Erujians have a fleet stationed there, including vessels containing radar equipment and sound detection capabilities. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to sink the enemy vessels containing radar and listening equipment. It's a choice to do this mission? Well, I could send my personal squadron, and they do have stealth aircraft, but seeing as how their last two operations went, I've decided it would be less risky to have you two handle it. That's fine. We'll handle it. As stated previously, these ships are among a fleet. You were required to destroy any variation of cruisers and all small vessels with radar. The rest of the fleet is an optional target, but remember, we are technically still trying to assist the UCA. They've got a mutual agreement with Dalkin, so it's not like we can turn on them. Plus, they won't sell us out, and act as a buffer between us and the IUN. I guess Aruja's thrown us for a loop. Please note when you are in the combat airspace, you must not fly near Farbanti. It's protected by an intensive anti-aircraft defense network, and would annihilate an amount as small as two planes. Also, be aware of the Erujians having hired elite mercenary squadrons that may be present at Farbanti. These mercenaries are highly skilled and are believed to possess high-end planes. Stay vigilant if you have to engage them. Allied fighters, confirm squawk to our IFF. Why would you assume they're friendly? Why wouldn't they be? Nope, they're not friendly! Two F-15s! All units to battle stations! Calm team, engage. Let's go, Cypher. We don't have the means to protect ourselves. Please get your fighters in the air, Dominic. Calm team, it is advised you do not cross the line to your north. It's marked on your radar. The Erujian's anti-air network is too much for only a couple planes. I can only see the city a little, but it still looks different from back in the day. No time for sightseeing, okay, bud? Plane squadron is inbound to assist. That'd be great. Grazie. Hostile fighters inbound. Yeah, yeah. The usual. Enemy vessels sunk. Two planes are a joke. Is what they'd say any other day. But today is not that day. We knew the risks of fighting alongside the IUA. Well, some of us did. Smaller groups of fighters incoming. I've become somewhat of a celebrity, huh? They're sinking our warships! The compass is sinking! We can't be having enemies walk all over us in that territory. Particularly with the two of them, I say. I feel kind of bad for these patrol boats. They're just sitting there defenseless. A crying shame, I'm sure. Our ship is going down by the head! Fire on sea deck! I miss when we had squadrons with us, you know. We did on our last mission. <laughs> if you consider saving the ass to be with us, then sure. Come to think of it, we haven't had any help since our wreck. And back then we were sinking a fleet too. Safiel squadron has arrived. New planes on radar. Probably worth noting. Advanced fighter craft. Stay frosty, Cypher. Allied mercenaries. We owe you one. Thanks. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You say F-15s are troubling you? Then let's get to it. More elite fighters. Give me a break, man. Ruse is only going to have more of them, most likely. You are not required to engage them. Simply evade their missiles and neutralize targets. Simple, he says. Atento la testa! Por favor, de Dios! 
the hell did he just say? Hell, I don't know. Attenzione! Siamo cavalli anti neutrale! Non attaccare! I think they're saying to not attack them. You're not gonna do that, are you? What? Of course not. Why would we do that? Dammi quello! This is the mercantile vessel Lampo. Non delusion aircraft in the airspace. Please do not attack. We are carrying no weapons or wartime supplies. Green 3, get out of there! Leave! Never been a huge fan of air-to-surface combat. Well, yeah, but how can you tap what we did last time out? Some so surreal about watching a ship sink. How could you not make a movie out of it? There is a movie about it. Shit, I missed that too? Oh well, the flying's better than sailing anything. Anyway. Out of range! Only they could be drawn closer. We're not exactly magicians. This is honestly easier than I expected. What did you expect? I don't know. Then why say it? Because I felt like it. I guess when a hellfire's worth of lasers and artillery is all firing at you, you know whole lot else can't compare. Calm team. All patrol ships and cruisers containing radar have been eliminated. Return to base now. Phase one of the operation is complete. All ships containing radar and listening equipment in the ocean around Farbanti have been eliminated. Stand by for phase two. Things are gonna get real tough. But as I said, if we succeed, it's game over for the IUN. Hopefully. <laughs>